Hello everyone! So Tony, are you sitting here thinking about how to become famous? Mm. I have an idea. What do you know about the Darwin Awards? Mm. You haven't heard of them, Tony? It's a website that hands out awards. Every year one person wins, and this time it could be you, Tony. Only there is one condition. The prize is awarded posthumously to the person who had the most absurd and ridiculous death. Now let me tell you about a few of the most outstanding nominees and winners. Let's start. Let's go back to Michigan back in the year 2000. An avid hunter loved his hobby so much that he decided to get his dog involved. So he wanted to take a picture of his beloved pet with a gun. It was supposed to be a great photo, but the careless movement of the dog caused the loaded rifle to fall and shoot the hapless photographer. It was the first recorded case of a man being shot by a dog, but the hunter won the Darwin Award. Now let's go to Malaysia. On January 28, 2018, local resident Zayim Kosnan saw a 3.5 meter long python on the side of the road. Without giving it much thought, he decided to capture the reptile and sell it. He armed himself with gloves and a sickle and skillfully grabbed the python, lifted it over his head, got on his scooter and went on his way. Only soon the hunter became the prey. The unhappy python wrapped itself around the rider's body and, as a result, Zyme suffocated and fell into a ditch. Naturally, that ridiculous death was nominated for a Darwin Award. This death from 1997 won that year's award for obvious reasons. Eric Barcia, a 22-year-old U.S. citizen who lived in Reston, Virginia, received an overwhelming majority of votes. Eric worked at a local fast food restaurant, but since he was a kid, he had dreamed of doing something epic. Only there was never the right opportunity. So he had the great idea of celebrating his birthday by jumping off a railroad trestle. He found an elastic cord to hold him in the air after jumping off the bridge. To keep himself safe from accidents, he measured the length of the cord twice. It had to be shorter than the distance between the trestle and the ground. After tying himself to the very top of the bridge, Eric bravely jumped headlong and died a few seconds later. The police found out that he had not measured the height of the trestle in advance, but instead he determined it by eye and added five extra meters. Moving on. The state of New South Wales and Australia banned the sale of plastic bags in stores, so shoppers have to bring their own bags. In the summer of 2018, an elderly woman in the town of Castle Hill forgot whether she had some bags in her trunk. She pulled over quickly and ran out of the car to check. Unfortunately, she forgot to pull the handbrake on her Mazda CX-7. 1,800 pounds of Japanese metal rolled down and swept the owner away. This ridiculous death was deservedly nominated for a Darwin Award. That same year, on December 18th, a man's corpse landed at the feet of some subway workers in Washington, D.C. Sherlock Holmes wasn't around to solve the mystery of his death, so they turned to the video surveillance system. It turned out that the man had decided to run up a rather long escalator moving down. At the very top, he began to feel sick and ran out of breath, so he tumbled and fell down. A well-deserved candidate for the Darwin Award. And here's another one. In New York City, a biker refused to wear a helmet, protesting against the law requiring motorcyclists to wear one. What do you think happened? Of course, he had an accident, cracked his head, and died. The police concluded that the biker would have survived if he had been wearing a helmet. So friends, always think about safety if you don't want to receive a Darwin Award like this poor guy. Finally, let's go to Finland. This country is so fond of sauna that they even hold competitions on how long you can last in one. During the competition, the temperature in the steam room can go up to 140 degrees. So, in 2010, Russian sauna lover Vladimir Ladizhensky reached the finals. Neither Vladimir nor his main rival, last year's champion, were going to give up. As a result, the competition had to be stopped and the finalists were taken to the hospital with severe burns. Unfortunately, Vladimir died in the hospital. Friends, tell us in the comments what other Darwin Award nominees you know, and please don't do anything stupid while we're gone. Give us a big fat like and we'll be back with another interesting video in exactly one week. Bye bye!